Oh. Repeat the correct version of the word. Scones or scones? Scones. Yes. It's three, three, one. <clears throat> 9.25 and we're off for afternoon tea. Worth it, the show where we try three different foods at drastically different price points to determine which is the most... Worth it. Worth, worth it. <laughs> we're going to the Cotswold. This feels a little bit like Middle Earth. Uh, there's even a beheading stop. <laughs> I'm Anna Bennett, proprietor alongside my mum, Lucy's Tea Room. Been a tea room almost 30 years, home baked scones and cakes, all of the traditional English fare. Do you know anything about like the history of afternoon tea? Wealthier English families, they would fit in tea and cake mid-afternoon when they had a bit of a lull. So they just squeezed in an extra meal? Just a bit Still. greedy really. Brie and cranberry. Oh yes. yeah. Egg and cress sandwiches, served on fresh bread. Scones with jam and cream. Notice she said scones. I think the Queen's English is gone. I'm not related to the Queen, I don't care. <laughs> Homemade cakes on the top and a pot of tea of your choice. So today you're going to be eating the Stowe Special Afternoon Tea. For two people, it's 21.50. This is actually real life. Old school England, isn't it? Cottage, Cottage life. life. Yeah. I hate to use this word, but it's very quaint. You know what, everyone wants a bit of glitz and glam, but sometimes you just want to keep it chill. I love it. <laughs> the savoury plate's always yeah. my favourite place. Look at the amount of brie in there. Cheers. I can hear you swallow. In case you're wondering where Joe is, he's on holiday. Yeah. Oh my god, simple classic sandwich to perfection. Cracking on with the scones. I don't know what you're talking about, Ada. All I see are scones. <laughs> Meaty bad boys. It's like perfect. Can you hurry up? I'm trying to finesse this. Oh, you've done a lot of jam. Yeah, I've gone overboard. I'm not kidding, I think that's the best scone I've ever had in my life. You never go amiss with homemade jam. Cake time? The weight on that. Do you get caffeine in a coffee cake? I do zoom so. <laughs> really wired. They look like these big, exactly. stodgy cakes, but they're not at really all. They're light, light and fluffy. Really There's a few almonds in there. The apples are so soft. There's obviously a bit of lemon drizzled in there. Perfect mix. Well, I loved every minute of this. Tasted homemade, nothing pretentious. It was so good. The cakes, they were beautiful. Works of art. I kind of wish I was an old lady and I could just do this every <laughs> exactly. afternoon. Afternoon tea joke. No. I got nothing. What? Sorry guys, it's gonna be a somber trip. Afternoon tea facts. <laughs> okay, here's a fact. We're about to go have afternoon tea. Fact. My name's Grant Campbell, I'm the general manager here at the Sanderson Hotel. Coolest lifts in the world. The hotel opened in 2000. It was seen as one of the true first lifestyle boutique hotels in London. The afternoon tea started on the back of Through the Looking Glass with Johnny Depp. We actually hosted the premiere party. Any celeb goss? No, we never kiss and tell. <laughs> oh, yeah. When that party was here, the chef team here decided to launch a Mad Hatter's afternoon tea. We start off with a salmon and quail's egg scotch egg. It has a small bit of sour cream and caviar on top. The Mad Hatter's lost carrots, an orange jelly on the inside. Queen of Hearts jammy jaja. It's a strawberry jam infused with a bit of rose. One of our most popular items is the vanilla macaroon. We have placed a white chocolate disc on with a pocket watch on, and it's one of those that gets a lot of Instagram photos taken off. We've worked with our tea supplier to create some bespoke teas. We have a tea called the Cheshire Cat, which has a slightly orange taste to it. The White Rabbit, which is made with um, silver leaf needle tea. Which that White Rabbit sounds lush. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> we have this argument all the time. Today, you'll be having the Mad Hatter's afternoon tea, available for 48 pounds per person. We're at the Mad Hatter's tea party. That's what she drinks to get small, yeah. right? And then you get this book, which has the menu in it. I'm gonna get some sugar from my oh. music box. I feel really peaceful. We have a blue caterpillar, shrooms, pocket watch thing. And the chess pieces. Fantastic. Some foliage. <laughs> Do you think this is edible? <laughs> Awful. Of course, we still have some scones. Love a scone. Love a scone. 
Scotch egg first. Well, it's not your normal Scotch egg, is it? What, it's got fancy. caviar on top? It's as fancy as you can get. So much flavour, such a powerful start. That is fantastic. The queen of hearts, aka myself. Look how thick that shortbread is. Better than an actual Danby Georgia? I do think so. Really? Because the jam is a lot softer. It's fresh, that's what you get. What's the song? She goes like, I grew up and learn a lot of things from the flower. Who's singing that? Alice? The lady in Alice in Wonderland. The, the queen. flower lady. The lady with the flower. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> There's a flower lady in all of her twists. You're thinking oh, about that. The whole experience from the book to the tea choices to the ballerina. It could have been crazy, but it's like a tame, classier version of the tea party. You know, we've got to go somewhere else today, eat this again. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can. <laughs> that was lovely. I cannot stop thinking about that scotch egg. It was beautiful. Next we're off to sketch. Oh, sketch in Mayfair. Everyone has seen sketch on Instagram. The thing we should state first is sketch is stunning. Hi, I'm Richard Waugh and I'm the restaurant director at Sketch Gallery, opened in 2002 name is Sketch, as it's a masterpiece that will never be finished. Oh, that's very cool. The Instagrammable toilets, the creators of the place, have actually made the worst part about eating and dining out into the best part. Our afternoon tea stand here is slightly French-inspired, but very English at heart. Chef would send his special mousse bouche, which is a small cheese egg with cheese soldiers. Mystery guests will appear, which is a small spoon of caviar. Norfolk goose egg sandwiches, blended that with some watercress. Hazelnut and chocolate gâteau, which is everything about French cuisine. It's very indulgent, very rich. Strawberry tartlets, it's Marie de Bois strawberries. French strawberries, so in season and so to die for. I always have a seasonal cheesecake available. It's apricot, signature, Malabar marshmallow. And Malabar is a bubblegum brand famous in France. It's a dream, really. Scones are the most famous part. Scones. Scones. <laughs> Scones or scones, isn't it? No, no, there's no or. So this afternoon, you'll be enjoying our full afternoon tea with a glass of Pommery Brut champagne. I see a Wes Anderson film. Yeah, we're in the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah. Bit of champers. Oh, I love alcohol. <laughs> Cheers. He's slurping again. We have these two cheesy breadsticks that are going in this epic egg. Nice dollop of caviar. Drop 10 pounds worth of caviar. <laughs> Have some caviar and champagne to kick it off. It's a bit unfair on the others, isn't it? Yeah, but you know, life's unfair. <laughs> Want to go for the one with the egg on top? I'm going to go for the salmon. The egg mayonnaise in the middle is perfect mix, and having that little perfect fried egg on top is like. Not even too sure what those little eggs were. Popped in your mouth and gave you another nice little punch of the sea. The way he described those strawberries as well. Did you describe the strawberries again? They're French, so they have to be good. Biscuit on that, so thick. Oh, I'm excited, I'm really excited. I'm not as strawberries like this. Mm. They are juicy as. It's like an upside down cheesecake, yeah. isn't it? Oh yeah. What's going on? So good. The apricots are so sweet. Everything on steroids. <laughs> Bit of champagne to top it off. I'm feeling pretty good. What's a line from a Wes Anderson film? I feel like we should end it with like. I don't think I know any. I mean, maybe we should make this bit a bit grainy. Zoom out. All the places were amazing, but which is the most worth it to you? Lucy's was really good, but my worth it winner is for sure the Sanderson Hotel. Can't get over that Scotch egg. <laughs> it's changed my life. Oh yeah, I really liked Sketch. That was insane. I've got to go with Lucy's. Really? Sweet, traditional. I like that it was a family run place. Yeah. Just felt like a little content old lady to enjoy my afternoon tea at a tea shop. <laughs> Wait, who is quaint? You pointed me for quaint. <laughs> No, but for a person being described as quaint, that's crap. You're interesting, you're psychedelic, I'm quaint. I am interesting. <laughs>